Damn. <laughs> The afternoon to you. A Friday afternoon in the middle of July, and oh God, is it the middle? Uh, it's the middle of July, folks. Jeez <laughs> Louise. We are off for a little weekend jaunt to Petersburg Corps of Engineers Campground. This is yet another of the camping opportunities around Lake Thurman, Clarksville Lake, in our home base neighborhood. Um, and I'm really not sure what we're gonna do this weekend. The, I guess the really the primary reason we're going this particular weekend is we were invited right. to come along with some neighbor campers of ours. Um, these folks have a motor coach and, and a pontoon boat, and they were going to be at Petersburg this weekend and asked us to come. Um, so I really think most of what we're going to be doing is probably socialize with them, and I don't know how much, if any, we would show that to you guys. <laughs> we might show you some scenes from the lake when we take a ride around the lake on their pontoon boat, which we have done before and it's very nice. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get a chance to walk around Petersburg and, and if there's any difference, show you some of the differences between a Corps of Engineers campground as opposed to some of the state parks and the one county park that we've experienced around Lake Thurman. So, of course, as we always say, whatever it is, you guys will see it. So hang tight, stay tuned. And this is the live from hell edition of and here we are. <laughs> 93 degrees with a heat index of 102. 95? Well, the last I looked, the heat index was 102, so, but still hot as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here. This is site 12. Am I right? Site 12? Site 12. Uh, Sorry, Peter. You couldn't hear my head rattle. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't hear her nodding. Uh, <laughs> Uh, at Petersburg Corps of Engineers Campground. This is Appling, Georgia. This is almost directly across the Savannah River from Baker Creek and Hickory Knob, where we've been before. Yep. Um, right down the road from Wildwood. And right down the road from Wildwood County Park. Speaking of Wildwood County Park, if you hearken back to the review video that we did of Wildwood, <laughs> I mentioned something about noisy tent campers. We walked out to the entrance to the area. This is campground one, camping area one. And as we pull in, there's spaces for very noisy tent campers and more quiet class A's. It was a passing remark when I made it. But we had more dealings with with those folks that trip that we didn't really go into detail about. Those same folks are here this weekend. Two sites over. We can't escape it. <laughs> but we'll deal with it. Nonetheless, and here we are. And this, it's beautiful. And it is. It, this is a fantastic site. I'm going to do a 360 here so you can kind of gather the surroundings. Our spot on this little alcove inlet, whatever you want to call it, of the lake. And we have a couple of pathways down to it. We have not ventured down to see how conducive it would be for swimming just yet. But we're going to find out before this weekend's over. I promise you that. And if not, there's a beach. Which is open. Yay! All right, <laughs> let me give you the, 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 the guided tour of this spot. Um, as, you, as I pointed out, a very spacious um, recreating area, for lack of a better term, uh, fire ring. Lantern hook, fish cleaning station, charcoal grill, which of course we never use. <laughs> Some kind soul left us a slew of firewood, um, which I'm sure Miss Firebug will make use of at some point. Me? <laughs> Our site is a pull through site that I did not pull through. Uh, this angle was a bit too sharp for my comfort level, almost almost more than a 90 degree angle. So I pulled forward and backed into here. Um, 
that being said, I'm not sure whether we came down this way as much as intended because as you can tell we had to really elevate this thing to level off uh, but all's well that ends well we made it work and our utility hookups are a tad farther away than i would like but again we made it work fortunately i had two lengths of hose i i needed both of them um oh, let me show you the over here generous parking space uh, if we had had a second vehicle, we'd had no problem putting it in here. But I'm very happy with the site. You know, once we got in and got level, uh, I'm very happy with it. I think Jess is too. Uh, we are just about completely set up inside and out. Uh, I don't know what time is it. It is 5 o'clock, straight up. And I have not had a meal since breakfast. And believe me, I have burned it all off. So I'm going back in here and looking for some grub. I'll probably drink about a gallon of iced tea to replace the few gallons of perspiration that I have soaking in this shirt. And as always, whatever else we do, you'll see it. Hang tight. Top of the morning to you. I can say it this time, it's actually morning. We're up and around before nine o'clock. Gonna stroll around Petersburg campground, see what there is to see, show you, point out anything that strikes us as neat, fantastic, unusual, or any combination thereof. <laughs> given any documentation when we checked in. We weren't given a map or any kind of brochure. So again, forgive the lack of research. I'd have done it if we were given the material, but we weren't given the material, so I didn't do any. I know of Bartram Trail. It's a very popular hiking trail that stems from this campground all the way over to Wildwood Park and, and beyond. It's miles and miles and miles of walking and biking trail. Um, other than that, I don't know what is available here. That might be enough. <laughs> One of the first things I noticed when we got here yesterday and, and, and enjoying right now, this is nice solid, almost fresh, blacktop pavement everywhere. Yes. And I know you're supposed to be out in the wilderness and roughing it, but as I've said before, to heck with that. <laughs> I like a smooth road. And this blacktop is, this is nice. I mean, there's no potholes, good for, I'd say good for the kids riding bikes. And, That's right. This is our turn off to go back to the campground. Well, one campground. The other loop is back this direction, as is the boat ramp. So if you had a boat you had to put in, You'd have to go this way, but we're going this way. Well, we don't have a boat. <laughs> <laughs> and we're lesser people for it too, right? <laughs> yep, there's one of the two that's ours that's the one on our look because i think we're i think we're okay. a, around that little corner right there is our our site so mm -hmm. that's the one of the two dedicated swimming beaches here you can see it Whew. yep it's warm in the sun <laughs> <laughs> we should also mention that in, in our limited opinion these, all these sites that we're seeing so far are very generously spaced. The, you know, the, yes. amount, the amount of real estate they dedicate to each site. Mm -hmm. the, you know, you've seen our site. We've got more space. We, we've got more space <laughs> we know what to do with. Yeah. And so, I, so if you have a family, oh, yeah. that would be great. We've, we've seen a couple of sites that folks have as many as five tents mm -hmm. set up, which I don't know if that's really allowed. But <laughs> I think they're allowed four, but mm -hmm. if they have like a canopy... Mm -hmm over the picnic table like we will have later. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
given our first and so far only experience with Corps of Engineers campgrounds, I'm impressed. Very. <laughs> I mean, I haven't found much of anything to, to grumble about. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I don't grumble too much, do I? <laughs> there are other Corps of Engineer parks around Lake Thurman. And being that Lake Thurman is a Corps of Engineers project, I'm sure they take care of their own stuff better, more thoroughly than the state parks, county parks do. And not that we've had bad experiences with those, mm -hmm. but I would definitely say quality-wise of construction and maintenance, so far this is the creme de la creme. I agree. I look forward to seeing the other ones, see if they're as nice as this. Lake life continues. We are getting ready to go jump on John and Kathy's pontoon boat and tour the lake and then we'll probably jump in because it's hot. <laughs> We keep talking about Lake Thurmond. Sooner or later, you were gonna wonder, well, how'd the lake get there? Well, this is how it got there. <laughs> this is J. Strom Thurmond Dam and Lake, but the lake's back behind it. Right. Um, Corps of, Army Corps of Engineers project. This is, this is you know, let me bring you around. This, this is the Savannah River, of course, and that's where they stopped the Savannah River to make the lake on the other side. The project was completed in the 1950s. They have added several parks around the dam itself, uh, day use areas, campground. They have primitive camping sites that are t still $10 a night, so that's a pretty good deal. And we're on the we're on the South Carolina side, standing right here, and and this I'm gonna swing you around. This is called the Below Dam Recreation Area, and we'll walk around and show you some more of it too, but picnic shelters and playground, which of course we can't use right now. Boat ramp is off that way somewhere. There's another road that goes to the boat ramp. And over here, well back behind these trees, we'll walk closer, is the power plant associated with the dam. And there's some informational monuments. We'll check those out too. So. Let's walk around. Above the dam, across, what? Well, of course, there's a road. A across that road, also on the South Carolina side, is a visitor center run by the Corps of Engineers, which has a lot of informational, educational displays about the construction of the dam and the purpose it serves. It's closed. So we can't go in and show you that. Darn it. obelisk looking thing. <laughs> Let's see if we can walk over there. Oh, it's something for the birds. We, we 
people of Germanic descent. <laughs> We'd have never cut it to Amazon, which is about what we're living in right now. Mm -hmm. Lord. We don't have air, we have soup. Yeah. <laughs> or even a blanket. A wet blanket. If you're wondering about geography, uh, we are 22 miles, I think, above Augusta at the moment. Um, I wish I could remember exactly how far it was from the dam to like the center of Augusta, but it's, it's roughly 20, 22 miles. And it is pretty much like this, you know, smooth sailing all the way down. There's lots of folks that put in a boat right here and, and go all the way down to Augusta. There's some more of the power plant. And then the, where the, you can see where the lake ends and the earthen berm takes over. Isn't that just mind boggling? The engineering, all that water pressure being held back. I mean, 70,000 acres of water being held back by just an earthen berm That's, and some concrete. That's, one of the original seven turbines that were mm. in the power plant. 15 feet in diameter, seven feet high and weighs 59 tons, which they equiv is an equivalent to about 12 elephants. <laughs> Boom. We teleported. <laughs> We're on the other side of the dam now. This this is above dam. And this is Lake Thurman slash Clarks Hill Lake, depending on which side of the river you're on. This is the uh, Clarks Hill Overlook, it's officially called. And then for obvious reasons. What you getting, honey? Oh. Oh, what? That's it. Yeah. With the name. More importantly, there's breeze blowing here. Yes. We're going to stay here a while. And if we could have driven in here earlier, this is where <laughs> we would have arrived, and this would have been what we would have seen, but we couldn't. We came so in the back door. So we didn't, and we sneak, <laughs> sneaked in the back way. Well, not sneaked, but discovered the back way and there it is that back there that's you know, all that blue stuff that's Lake Thurmond Clarks Hill Lake depending on which side of the river you're on Georgia and Carolina they've been arguing about that for the better part of 30 years now we just think it's pretty and we don't care <laughs> I'm glad we came and did this on a, a, a sunny clear day um yeah. we've we've driven across it so many times as you <laughs> folks know in the last six months but this is the first time that we've actually stopped and right. got out and looked around we checked out below dam the recreation area down there the mm -hmm. power plant and the, here the overlook and the visitor center that we couldn't go in yeah. uh, but um, I'm, I'm glad we got a, i'm glad we made the chance to, to take a look at this thing on such a pretty day wish it was Definitely. a little bit breezier yes Just we're, trying to, warm. we're trying to dry off a little bit before we <laughs> put the truck in drive and go uh, Sunday afternoon, departure day, as you know, we, we dread Sundays, and we shouldn't, because, because we shouldn't dread them, because, of course, we can't have a new trip until we finish the old trip, so. This is true. We're finishing the old trip. <laughs> um, this is our last scheduled trip right. until September. This is, of course, mid-July, as we're showing you, this, mm -hmm. uh, as we're recording this. So we'll have about six, seven weeks off. Uh, we've got some maintenance things to do. We've mm -hmm. uh, got some life situations to straighten out. Uh, but our next adventure will be Labor Day weekend. We'll be heading a little bit farther north. We will be heading to Lake Hartwell. Yes. Uh, we hear great things about that that state park up there. Um, so that'll be a, a new one for us and for you guys too. And a new lake. <laughs> a, a new lake, Lake, lake Hartwell. <laughs>
Uh, so until then, uh, keep checking social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, you guys can keep up with us in real time, see what we're up to at any given moment until we return to you on YouTube. And so I guess until then, as we always say and always do, keep, keep living, living and learning. learning.